Hey, I'm James with PNW Outdoor Reviews, the channel for honest and simple reviews. So, you can tell it's a little windy today, so uh, forgive me if the sound is a little, you know, eh. But what we're talking about today is from Emergency Zone, it's their Urban Survival Bug Out Bag. Now, this was given to me, not by Emergency Zone, but uh, by a little shop uh, called Cash Co. LLC. Uh, their website is hdbackpacks.com. Um, got a hold of them, we were talking a little, and uh, they said I could review one of these backpacks, which I'm very, very grateful for, so thank you. Uh, I've been wanting to review a bug out bag that wasn't of my own uh, for a while now. So, again, it's the Urban Survival Bug Out Bag. Urban is being, of course, you know, the city or town you know, where there's a lot of people, right? What I love about this, and this is one thing I haven't thought of, is if you are living in those situations, again, in the city and things like that, this is a perfect disguise, basically. It's, it blends in. Uh, this is something that, again, you would take to school. It's just, it looks like a simple school backpack. It doesn't stand out, you know, like a nice colored hunting backpack, which are very practical and they hold gear very well. I mean, there's so many pros to these, but, you know, if you're in the middle of Seattle, everyone's gonna see that backpack versus this backpack. So you stand a much better chance of getting out of town, you know, and not being potentially robbed by somebody when a serious, you know, emergency situation is going on because people get desperate and people get greedy and it's scary. And, you know, I, I can't imagine being in that situation, but something like this, if you have to get out and if you're on foot, this is awesome. This is truly something that just, it just looks like a simple backpack. People wouldn't expect a ton of gear. This box is awesome, by the way, because they really do tell you everything that's in it. They got pictures, so. And another cool thing I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give them a big thumbs up for this because they ship it in just a standard plain Jane box, you know? No, no nothing describing what's in there, so. Again, that's awesome. So I mean, it, it's it's not as obvious to those porch pirates out there. All right, so I really haven't had a chance to go through this. I kind of wanted to save it for this video. You know, of course, I've kind of peeked in the bag and you know read over the box, but yeah, I wanted to kind of give you my first impressions and um, somewhat of an unboxing, I guess, as we'll call it, even though it's yes, unboxed. But uh, and just real quick before I get ahead of myself. Uh, this is a 72 hour backpack. It is designed for two people. So two people for 72 hours can rely on this backpack. That's you know enough supplies to keep you alive. So you don't have to use it for two people. You know, 72 hours gives you three days, but if you're just one person using this backpack and you maybe you want to buy another one for your significant other or whomever, uh, well, there you go. You can double it up and you can get six days, basically an entire week out of one backpack per person. So that's, again, for a bag that doesn't weigh all that much, I'll have a weight in the description below because I don't have a scale with me today, sorry. All right, well, before we waste any more time, let's go ahead and let's just start going through this because like I said, I really haven't had a chance to dig in. When they ship it to you, everything is in the main compartment. There is a ton of pockets on this backpack. So they let you organize it the way you want to, which again, Another thumbs up, that's great because everybody has their own preference on how they want their bag organized. So, and there is definitely room to add more gear, which that'll be another video. All right, man, how important is toilet paper? How, how many of you remember to pack toilet paper? I mean, tell me in the comments, because I, I mean, I, it always, I, I believe it's one of these things that most people forget about. And let's face it, man, you really want this if you're out in the middle of nowhere because, yeah, it's important. Uh, they do also have some masks, uh, protect your respiratory system. Um, you know, these aren't going to protect you from nuclear fallout or anything. But uh, again, if you're in a, you know, with fires going on or something like that, you know, again, protecting your lungs is so important against the nuisance dust and again just smoke so they include oh my gosh let's see here i got two of those in here two of those some toilet paper 
what's next? Awesome. So this is a rechargeable um, flashlight. So you just wind it up and uh, well, it powers your flashlight, but it also has a built-in radio. So no batteries needed for this, which yes, um, you can't rely on batteries. You can't, they, they are going to die out and well, then you don't have a flashlight. So this is a nice piece of gear to have. And you can also charge your cell phone with that. I did not know that, I just read this box. So you can actually plug in your cell phone, wind it up and boom, be able to still use your cell phone. So that's, that's awesome. That's a big, that's a nice item. Well, this one's nice and labeled. So bug out tools. You can see there's, I mean, even a deck of playing cards in there. I'll kind of read it real quick. Uh, so you got a multi-tool knife, two glow sticks, a pair of like leather work gloves, uh, a five in one survival whistle. Uh, we'll have to dig into that, see what's all in there. Uh, deck of playing cards, like I said, uh, five millimeter rope, some duct tape, and a GI can opener, all included. Let's take a look at this whistle here real quick. What's five and one? All right, so it's got a compass. It's got a mirror on it. It's got a container. I'm guessing you could put like some dry matches or something inside of there. And yeah, man. Okay, I guess I, you know I'll, uh, I'll have to get back to you guys on that because I don't know what's all included in this. But again, five and one safety whistle. But you want to be able to signal uh, if you're trying to get a hold of you know or someone's attention, I should say. And that's one more thing I learned real quick on this: playing cards or some type of game to bring with you because again, you just can't play games on your cell phone, you know? I mean, you should rely on something a little simpler, like a deck of playing cards. It'll keep you distracted, it'll keep the morale high. So that's that's a nice thing to include. Smart for them to include that. Deluxe weather kit, so shelter. Protect yourself, especially in the Pacific Northwest where it rains. Not so much in Eastern Washington, but you know, still. Uh, but what's included is uh, emergency tube tent, two reflective sleeping bags, two emergency ponchos, and two hand warmers. So all included, and they include the instructions and everything, how to set up the tent. But again, gotta be able to stay dry and warm. That's how you stay alive. Hygiene kit. So let's see, you got, you got a shaver, you got shaving cream, you got toothbrushes, you got a comb. Uh, Man, you got actually a sewing kit is included. That's also another very important item to have in with your gear. Uh, but you got your shampoo and uh, even some well, feminine products included as well, some pads. So, I mean, they are thinking of both parties, you know, female and male. So, again, well thought out. First aid kit, that's always a must. I preach that a lot in my videos is to have a good first aid kit. Uh, let's see what's all in this. Ooh, a lot of stuff, but you got standard. You got your um, scissors, tweezers, uh, Q-tips, gauze pads, tape, antiseptic wipes, and some bandages. Uh, even uh, some latex gloves. So uh, very well organized in this nice little pouch. All right. Okay. Uh, so this is for uh, water purification. So basically they give you a, one of those clear water pouches or water bottle, if you want to call it that. Um, and they have the purification tablets that you just drop inside. So that's your pur purification kit. But you don't need to use that until your water runs out. Yes, they include sealed or bagged up water. So this is water inside of pouches. And like I said, I'm gonna be making a second video to this video um, in the, within the month. I promise I won't keep you waiting too long um, because I really do want, kinda of wanna test some of these products out and I'll be talking more about what I would include in this backpack, you know, what's missing basically. So, um, and what I like and maybe don't like. So, but they include a lot of water right there because you're gonna need that to wash down your food rations. So this is literally just a brick 
of high calorie food. Um, I don't know, like a, we'll just call it a granola bar basically, right? <laughs> they include two of these solid bricks. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is your food rations right here. So like I said, either one for each person or like I said, you can survive basically, uh, we'll say six days, but a week um, off of these rations. So uh, each packet of nine fortified food bars provide 3,600 calories. Damn. And I will be doing a taste test on these as well. So anxious to, I mean, that's a lot of calories, but so I won't eat the whole thing, but we will be testing that out. So food, water, shelter, first aid. I mean, they, they include all the basics that you need, honestly, to get going. Now, um, the only thing I really, is, is a good fire starter. All right, that is that is the one thing. I don't see it on the box anywhere. Um, but, you know, to have a real, you know, some type of flint stick or magnesium striker, whatever. I'll say that right now, that's the one thing this kit is missing, but that's such an easy thing to add. But for out of box, ready to go, this, this is honestly, this is a really well put together kit. Um, but I'm gonna be further testing that to really test again how well the water and the food tastes and how some of these products work. So yeah, well that's that's it guys. That's all that's in this backpack and yeah. I, I mean, I like it. I can't wait to actually kind of play around with more of uh, what's in here. So just to say thank you again for Cashco for letting me review this. Um, they have a lot of other backpacks and I'm hoping to eventually review some other ones. They even have one, uh, or backpacks for children. And so being that I have a new son, I, I really do want to be able to test that out and share that with you. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this, this has been a fun review. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, it really does again, help this channel to grow so that I can further bring you more stuff like this to review. So thank you everyone who supports this channel. Thank you just everyone for the time you spend to watch my videos. I can't say how much I appreciate it. Uh, it's, it's, it's truly a blessing uh, because of you, the, you know, the, the people who, who support P&W Outdoor Reviews. So thank you. Well, I want you guys to have a great day. Thank you for watching.